What is going on? We are back with another episode on the pocket bike. Now I filmed a, a part one of this. I know I didn't show a whole lot um, just because it's more so of a side project, but I thought it would be fun to kind of uh, tag you guys along for the ride of building this uh, pocket bike. Now the previous video did not do well at all. So I am gonna be just mostly posting this on TikTok unless this video does better. If you guys wanna continue to see this pocket bike, I'm gonna need to see some comments below and some thumbs up. That's gonna show me that you guys do want to see this. Um, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. We'll see how this video does. Uh, if it doesn't do well, unfortunately, I think we're just gonna stick to posting this on TikTok because I get more views on that. So right now we are creating a swing arm. Let me show you where we left off. Uh, actually, I refabbed up an entire new, uh, basically a frame. Everything here you see is completely new. The motor, mount where it's gonna go, everything. Uh, and right now something we just did right now is welded this on right here. And which is gonna basically allow for the swing arm. These are gonna be the parts right here. I already went ahead and drilled out the holes um, right here, right here, and this is gonna allow it to go. Coming over here, I have some mounts right here and right here. This is gonna be for the shock, uh, which we do have uh, also coming in today as well. So I'm very excited. I'm hoping this works out right now. We just gotta do a lot of measuring, make sure it's uh, straight as possible. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll kind of just go from there. And the goal in this video is to have this swing arm 110% done. Um, so this is pretty much gonna sit here. This piece will end up going here. It's not gonna be this wide, of course, but um, yeah, this is gonna go. We'll cut this to where it needs to go, uh, so on and so forth, weld it together. Um, so let me go ahead and assemble this and kind of show you basically how it's gonna go. So that's pretty much it right there, like that. And basically I just need to make sure, we may have to put a spacer up here and right here, just to make sure we have we are level all the way through. The last thing we want is uh, basically for this thing to be, you know, like narrow and then it gets wider. We don't want that. Um, so that's pretty much about it. Thank you. 
All right, guys, hopefully you can hear me over the fan because it is extremely hot in here. But uh, did a little bit of uh, more work, put in another brace here, um, just because with this here, it was starting to narrow this a little bit. It was off by a tad, but I put that in there, so extra strength as well. Also welded on a spacer, which will grind down. Um, and then we have the nut pretty much there. And it goes right in and out. And there it is. And then we will put the shock mount here. And like I said, we still have to weld the brace up here and then the shock, but we won't really be able to determine too much of that until uh, the shock and stuff comes in. Um, but right here, we will end up cutting a slit most likely, or we'll weld the plate on this side or this side, one of the two. And that's pretty much gonna where it's gonna attach to here. Um, and that's about it. So I can't really do too much more at the moment until some more stuff comes in and then I have to pick up the material for the plates that will be extended on. But let me try to get this wheel set up and get an idea. So essentially, that's how it's gonna look. Uh, I do have a line taped out so that way we can make sure everything is perfect and uh, check it out. Perfect. Now the rear seat, I'm trying not to get in front of this fan. I apologize, let me move it out of the way real quick. There we go. Now, if you look at the wheels, they are perfect. Now it looks crooked because the frame is tweaked that way. So I will end up most likely cutting a notch, cutting a notch and shifting it back. Uh, it either came like that when I got this bike or uh, it was crashed actually the first day, unfortunately. Check that out, dude, that is so sick. And then again, if you come to the rear, it's, it's perfect. The seat is bent though, and that's all. So I'm very happy. So let's take a quick measurement. So it looks like we're gonna need about, I'm gonna want a little overhang on the pipe itself. All right, that moved a little bit, but it's fine. At least like two inch overhang. So I'm gonna need at least seven inches of uh, metal, a flat metal or i might even be able to use let me see if i can find it i do have this but i don't think i'm gonna want to use this to be honest but we'll see maybe we maybe we can it might be long enough let me measure this out and maybe we can get this cut and get it fitted up changing plans on this we're gonna put this on hold for now but i think it's gonna work but look what just came in so this is my new intake uh, it's gonna sit basically like that. It's gonna fold over and we're gonna have it like that. The reason why, this goes right over it, but we're not gonna use it because it does hit the frame a bit. So I mainly got this just because I don't mind this getting pinched a tad, uh, but at least this we can now angle it out of the way. And here's my little baby shock. This is so rad. Now the hardware that this came with definitely is not gonna work. You can see too uh, big. But thankfully, I had or have some extra hardware laying around. And there we go. So real quick, I'm going to mount these together. And let's see what we can make happen.
man, I need a break, guys. It is extremely hot. It's 100 degrees in the garage right now. Uh, yeah, 100 degrees. It's hot, but check out what I just got done. Boom, boys. Look at that. Beautiful. Blue in the plate and everything. Damn. Beautiful. guys it's been a few days uh, since my last update uh, the camera died but we have this bike pretty much it's a full roller um, I did a few other things off camera let me go ahead and show you now before you guys judge my welds are not the prettiest but they are very very strong um, and we still have a lot of cleaning up to do grinding so on and so forth and a little bit of trimming but here we are here it is and as you can see it's sitting up on its own and we actually made this foot peg so there it is it hangs a little low but um it's extended out and uh yes it does sit like i said a little low but it works and i'm very happy with it uh for the seat i actually used a skateboard which is going to pretty much essentially sit there um the motor it is mounted as well uh not the prettiest but it's it is in there it needs a little bit of adjustments this section here we're gonna be completely uh, right here to here. We're gonna cut out and kind of extend this out and then boom, because it hits the filter and I, there's just not much I can do. So we're gonna go ahead and redo that. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the fan. It is extremely hot in here. But yeah, we're looking good. Um, this is all gonna get reinforced. This is already strong, but I'm gonna weld another piece here just to reinforce it some more. But right now, I came up with this idea. Let me turn the fan off or turn it away. There you go. So what I want to do is, this is going to be getting cut back off. This was temporary for the skateboard, just to kind of test it and whatnot. I don't think, do I, uh, I don't know if I want that there or not yet. But what I am going to do is I bought this hinge because I plan on riding this down to the gas station you know when i pick up drinks or snacks whatever so i'm gonna be making at least i plan on it a little glove box thing right here and then this hinge is gonna go that way this kind of opens up so we can you know open it up or whatever have you so i'm that's the plan i think i think it's gonna be really cool will that work right there i don't know where it's gonna have to go it's gonna have to sit about there bam yeah so that's the plan. Uh, I just measured out a piece of steel we're gonna put right here. I'm gonna get that cut, get that welded in, get this broken off, I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to break this off and then uh, we'll kind of go from there. Keep you guys updated. 